Hi everybody, Bob Gager here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Photoshop Elements users. Today's question comes from Judy Holmes, and Judy wants to know how to add dew drops to this picture of her flower. Judy, thanks so much for sending in the flower. It's very helpful to actually work with your photos instead of mine. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're in expert mode. So up here where we have quick, guided, and expert, make sure you click on expert to get into expert mode. And then over on the right, where we have our layers, we want to add a new layer. Adding a new layer is as simple as clicking on this little icon up here, create new layer, and that's going to add a new blank layer for us. Now we want to come over here on the left, make sure our foreground color is black. If it's not already black, just click on this little icon here and it will switch to black. And then grab your brush tool. Open up the tool options and pick a brush. Uh, we want to make sure that we pick a sharp brush, so don't pick one of these fuzzy ones. Uh, scroll near the top and pick one of these very sharp brushes. Now we set our size. Uh, the size is going to depend on your actual picture. So for yours, maybe about 42 is good. Uh, other folks might need to pick a different size. But basically what you want to do is get a circle that's about the size that you want your dew drops to be. And then just click. And so paint some black dew drops around your flower or your photo or whatever it is you're adding dew drops to. You can change the size. They don't all have to be the same. So maybe we want some smaller ones and just sort of fill in some other areas and maybe even a bigger one or two. Um, maybe something like that. We'll paint over a couple of these just so you see the variety that you can have with different size dew drops. So now we've got some dew drops. Now we haven't actually painted on our flower. We've painted on this layer. If I hide that layer, you can see we've still got our flower underneath, but we've just got some black dots on a layer that's sitting on top of our flower layer. Now we want to make them a little less round. Not all dew drops are perfectly round, so go to Filter and go to Distort and select Ripple. And the Ripple filter will come up and you can play around with this slider, this amount slider. Now this is going to depend on your photo, so everyone will need to set it in a slightly different position. So just distort it the amount that you want. Click OK. and You can see a little bit of distortion is placed on those black circles that we drew. And now the real trick. If I come down here to the Effects panel, so Layers is currently selected, just click on Effects, which is right next to it. Switch from Filters to Styles. And in the Styles Effects, instead of Bevels or whatever happens to be selected at the time, come down to Wow Plastic. In the Wow Plastic section, there's a bunch of different plastic effects you can drag and drop onto your photos. Go ahead and pick this one in the top right. This is Wow Plastic Clear. Click it and drag it onto your photo. Now make sure you drop it on top of one of these black circles that you have and let go. And Elements will automatically go ahead and apply the Wow Plastic filter to that layer, in this case uh, starting to make it look like water drops. Now switch back to Layers. And you can see on this layer that we have, which is our water drops, there's a little effects icon here. That means we've applied some effects. Go ahead and double click on that, and it's going to bring up the style settings panel. Because there's a couple adjustments I want to make to the wow plastic effect. First thing I want to do, that little white glow that you see around the outside, I want to turn that off. So I'm just going to uncheck the glow, and that's going to go away. And then what I want to do is just mess around with this bevel slider to get the look I want. You can see I can move that uh, reflection on the top of my bubble a little bit uh, just by sliding that slider. And the drop shadow, I might want to adjust that as well. You can preview without it by clicking the checkbox, bring it back. I really want my drop shadow to be really small and really close. So I can just bring that in, in this picture, just a couple pixels uh, for size and distance. And then just click OK. So as simple as that, I've now got some water drops on my flower. If I hide this layer, you can see I didn't actually draw on the flower. I'm drawing above the flower on a new layer. And what's really cool, now that I've got the effect all applied, if I come back with my uh, brush tool and start drawing some more. Let me make my brush a little smaller. And let's maybe smear this water drop. I can just paint on that layer and change the shape of my water and I'm effectively pushing the water around. If I don't like these perfectly round, um, 
water drops. Uh, I can make them any shape I want. I can make them any size. If I come down with a really small one, I could make some water kind of like that. So let your imagination go wild and draw your water. And then one final step with this layer selected here, layer one, we want to come up to enhance and select unsharpen mask. Kind of a funny name, but that actually sharpens the layer that's selected. Bring up the unsharpened mask dialog and mess around with your sliders. We want to just add a little bit of uh, sharpness. Um, depending upon your picture resolution, you may want to use different amounts. Uh, for your picture, I just crank them all the way up. I can preview this effect before and after by checking this box. It's fairly subtle, uh, but it is there. And then just go ahead and click OK. And now we've got dewdrops on your flower. Hope that helps, Judy, and have fun.